Hey guys, it's Chris here with Off-Road Farm and today I thought we'd take a look at this Tecton torque wrench and see just how good it is. We're going to put it up against a Mac. So I've had this Tecton wrench here for a little over a year now. Uh, I've not had any problems with it. It's worked really good back when I got it. This was the only thing I had. I had a Tecton in a half inch and a three eighths inch. And just recently, I've been able to come across this Mac torque wrench and I thought I would just kind of do a head to head shootout and see just how accurate this Tecton was compared to this Mac. We'll tighten some bolts down first with the Tecton, then we'll come behind it with the Mac at the same torque setting and see if we have any difference. Then we'll go up in torque, we'll torque it down with the Mac first, then come behind it with the Tecton and see how close they are. But first let's talk a little bit about these torque wrenches and which one I like better and why. Let's start out here with this Tecton wrench. Right down here it does give you your readings in foot-pounds or in newton meters if you happen to be using those. It has a pretty good range. It goes from 25 foot-pounds up to 250 foot-pounds. Now to adjust it there's a screw down here. You just loosen that and you dial in your setting. Whenever you reach your setting, you simply screw that back down and it holds your setting. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is I have noticed several times I've set my setting and then I put it in and if you're not careful when you're torquing, even with that knob set, you see how that's moving? And this knob is finger tight and it'll still move a little bit. So you really have to pay attention you have to make sure that you get your setting just where you want it. Crank that down. And whenever you're torquing it, you just have to make sure that you're not putting any twist on this knob. All right, now this Mac torque wrench. Now, the uh, settings on it, it also has foot pounds and Newton meter readouts. It's not quite as broad, but it's close. It's 50 to 250 foot pounds. So really all you're missing down is 25 to 50. And if you've got one of these and you've probably got a 3 8 drive torque wrench and that should cover that. What I do like about this torque wrench is how you is how you do your setting down here. This knob will not turn. This collar you have to pull it down. See that? You pull it down, you dial in your setting, and then whenever you get it right, you hear it click. Now that knob will not turn. No matter what you try, it will not turn. So this is a lot more secure setting. You can put your setting in right at 54 pounds and it's clicked in and that is not going to move. So now let's tighten some bolts down. There's twice at 50 foot pounds, so now let's try our other torque wrench. All right, so this is the Mac torque wrench, 50 foot pounds. There it gives. All right, now we're gonna do the Mac first. We got it set to 75 foot pounds. All right, here's the Tecton, set at 75 foot-pounds. All right, those two so both the Tecton and the Mac seem to be right there together. 100 foot-pounds with the Tecton. Now let's change back over to the Mac and see if there's any difference. 
All right, here's the Mac at 100 foot pounds. Was well, a little difference in that one. None in that one. None in that one. And none in that one. All right, so now let's crank this Mac up to 130 foot pounds. We'll do our final torque and then we'll check it against the Tecton. All right, we've got it set at 130 foot pounds. Let's just go around them again. Well, there it goes finally. Alright, since we moved one of them, we're going to go back through them all again. Alright, I think we're finally good. So now let's change over to the Tecton set at 130 foot pounds, see how close they are. Alright, here's the Tecton at 130 foot pounds. It's got a very, very little bit on that, not much. All right, so that was pretty close. All right, so after using both of these torque wrenches, remember we did 50 foot-pounds, 75, 100, and then 130. I'm really surprised. There was almost no difference between this Tecton or this Mac. And you, know, and you guys know how much Mac and Snap-on charges for their tools. Most of the time, there's a reason for it. They are better tools. But if you're just a weekend warrior like me, Working on your rig, this Tecton wrench, if you don't have a real expensive one, I think, I think it'll do pretty good for you. I'm really surprised by just how close this was. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, just hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'm going to try to also compare to this snap-on torque wrench. Uh, but it goes from 200 to 600 foot-pounds and... I didn't really feel like doing that tonight. Maybe next time. Yeah, this this is seriously a torque wrench. <laughs>